got like Joker, Pichu. Maybe we'll see the Sheik. That would be pretty hype. But I doubt we'll see the Sheik. Not in this matchup. No. Pac no Man way. too. Pac Man too good. <laughs> it's funny that we're saying that in this game. Now he is. Yeah. Pac and T is bad. the best one to do it. So yeah. you don't want to mess with this guy. Yeah. This. This kid is insane. How, how do you know how, um, exactly how old T is? I think T is twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Oh wow! I, I thought he was younger. He definitely looks younger. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. But let's see. Void, the golden boy of SoCal, Hawaii native, everyone's favorite. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people <laughs> love Void. Yeah, yeah, very likable guy. Of course, repping the CLG. And yeah, this, this is going to be a great set, man. Switch Fest 2019, man. We have so yeah. many great sets. Man, it's just back to back to back. And now we're in top 48. Oh, man. Dude. We got the good stuff, the good, good. It's just crazy that, like, the level of play where you're playing, these type of players that are fighting each other in top 48, it feels like it could be a top eight match. Yeah, it's crazy. There, it's, it, this event was, like, maybe two more top 20 players away from being S tier. Like, it was very, very close. Oh, okay. Wow, um, really? Yeah. So it's a very high-ranking A tier. It was very, very close to getting S tier. And looks like we got Joker versus the Pac-Man. Of course, uh... As we predicted going into this, um, so Void was able to de defeat Sinji at SmashCon, but man, I think T is just a whole nother beast, man. I don't think they play similarly at all. No, no, and they they're don't. they're both like the two best Pac-Mans, and like they don't play like anything like each other. So being one of them doesn't prepare you for the other. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, it's just it's crazy because Pac-Man's so much better in this game. So you can you can definitely see a bunch of uh, Pac-Man playstyles thrive, right? Yeah. And even like um, watching like Kiwi from New England take oh, the yeah, game five, Kiwi. that was crazy. Kiwi, I don't know why I always forget about her in the Pac-Man conversation, but yeah. she is so good. Yeah. Like versus all these top players, she's always bringing them like game five, like last hit. It's crazy. That set versus Tweak was insane. Like I was scared for Tweak the whole time. Yeah, Pac-Man's like legit, in my opinion, like a high tier or bottom of top, in my opinion. Yeah, I think um, so as well. It's just, it's... It's so hard because T doesn't travel to too many stuff. So I really want to see. I mean, T, last time he came down here, I believe it was Prime Saga, and he yep. was able to get top eight. Like, yeah. He got, like, pretty far, right? Yes. Like, he only lost to Japan. Did he get, like, record. fifth, third? I, I can't remember. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he got top five. Yeah. All right, looks like both of these players are ready to rumble here. And, man, I, I can't wait for this set. This is going to be a really good one. Of course, we are in that top 48 territory. So you guys already know, man, we in that best of five. Yeah, everything is going to be really, really tight here, and every game is going to matter, especially going to this best of five. Oh, man, T's pumping up, dude. You see that? You got it, man. He's about to charge that fruit. <laughs> oh, he's doing an elegant shake? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not going to lie, man. It's kind of cold in it's here. It's actually really cold in here. All right, so both of our competitors hydrate. If you guys are watching the stream and you haven't had some water, man, make sure you hydrate. I think, we have, I think we have the hydration bot in the, in the chat. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, now you don't have any excuse. You got the commentators <laughs> telling you to hydrate. You got the, the hydration bot telling you to hydrate in the chat. Looks like we're going to be starting here off on Pokemon Stadium, Joker versus Pac-Man. I'm very excited to see T perform here in America. Of course, he does very, very well in Japan. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah, that DI was uh, very, very scary for T. But uh, this is what I want to see. How does Boy? Oh. oh, I love the... Air one up forward smash, not very commonly used, but very effective. But uh, yeah, I was really wanted to see how is Void going to get in on this Pac-Man and just keep him where he wants him. Because once T starts zoning and setting up, that's where he gets really scary. And yeah. uh, without Arsene, Joker doesn't have the best zoning capabilities of his own. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, <laughs> just as you say, here comes here comes the the homie Arsene. Now Void has him at the kill percent. Back oh, air, wow. Back air one doesn't destroy Hydrant in one hit. I was, that's what I was thinking. Maybe it's just stale? I, you know what's really going to be good? I wonder if Void's going to utilize this, but the gun on top of the trampoline. Oh, it actually goes destroys really the trampoline. Yeah, because you could shoot up the trampoline, yeah. I, I wonder if Void is going to go for that. But the oh, Arsene's gone, but the just, up smash connects. Just barely killed. Yeah. Raw, and no Arsene, only solo Joker up smash. Caught the, the anti-air. That was actually really clean from Void. Okay, there's the roll right through that Hydrant pressure. And this is what you want. You want the stock lead versus Pac-Man. You want to be the one to dictate the pace of the game and not really uh, put him in a situation where, where he's forced to approach, where his approach options aren't the best. Yeah, and T, it, it's funny because I, I feel like T is one of the more aggressive pac Man. Yeah. It's just funny because he's, like, Japanese. Oh. So uh, mo yeah. most Japanese players are a lot more reserved. But 
He, this, this guy goes in with Pac-Man, bro. Yeah, it's surprising for sure. Oh, he's oh, like, oh, okay, get, get this, get this uh, <laughs> trampoline out of my face, man. Oh, oh my God. Oh, the <laughs> Dude, the apple that, bounced a good like four times. Yeah, that That's was funny. a chase down. I, I don't think Void was expecting it to last that long, yeah. dude. Okay, there's the orange, and I mean, right now, uh, T doing a really good job of evening. I mean, not like super evening this up, but bringing it back to the taking that stock is so so important, right? Yeah. Okay, hydrant down, trying to get this forward smash. I like so Void going for some of these kills at 80% with the forward smash. If you can get a kill that early with non arsen. Joker, that's a really big deal. It's kind of like what we were talking about earlier with um, Wario being able to like snowball his uh, second stock with like the WAP. It's yeah, like the yeah. same thing. But oh man, T coming oh. in. Oh, those smash attacks, if spaced, so so safe on shield. They linger for a long time and they're extremely powerful. Ooh, the grab right at, after that fair one. Very very nice. Yeah, his fair one subs are definitely looking on point today. Okay. Oh, oh tries to get bit the counter. Too late. Oh, the Trump. Oh, wow. wow, you avoid the hydrant perfectly. That was actually a really rough spot to be in. I thought Bo was going to get caught there for, for sure. Yeah, and one thing about Arsene, man, when, when you're fighting up against Arsene, you have to play that mini game. Don't get back aired. Yeah, back air at the <laughs> ledge. That is a very you just gotta, hard thing to avoid. You sometimes you got to accept the oppression, you know? Ooh. Just, there's no way he's going to oppress you with this move. Yo, he, I, I see a lot of tricks coming out from T going for the grab on top of the Hydrant. And you also saw him trying to bounce the key off the backboard. Yeah, that actually was insane if he got that to work. Yeah. Well, there's that Nair out of shield. Pac-Man actually, one of the characters with very, very great out of shield options. Forward air and Nair out of shield are very, very strong tools. Right now, Void holding on to the second oh. stock. T looking for an answer. Here comes our sin, though. Okay, the melon. Okay, just going to oh. hang on that grappling hook. Can he find this aerial? No. Ooh, okay, We're finds still it back here. Yeah, and the Arsene number two is out to play. Oh. Tries to stomp the yard. Oh, there's okay, the back here. All right, he didn't get to play with Arsene like that much. Yeah. Could have potentially died, so that's like the best case scenario. Yeah, that could have gone sour real, real quick. So great stuff on T to get that uh, stock. And like, it's just so much value, right? Because Arsene just spawned in. Drag oh. down? Ooh, down. you love to see it. Yeah, Fair yeah. one, up air, drag down, down smash. Oh, trying to snipe him out here. Throwing out the guns right by the ledge. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, covers so many options. Oh, didn't go for it that time, though. He didn't believe that the fair one would hit and went right into a defensive stance there. Okay, there's the forward throw. Can Void get the stock, though? I mean, a lot of these Japanese... Oh, wow! He's, so, he's like, you don't get to cross up my shield. Damn! You don't get to cross up my shield ever. This up smash is hitting. Damn, like, that was quick. Normally, I see that up smash hit with Arsene because it has an insane range where you just can't cross him up. But I've never seen... The normal Joker up smash hit like that. That, that up smash definitely hit different. <laughs> yeah, it was, that was sick. Like that was the swiftness, bro. Yeah. Like he didn't even damn. let him. Finish, he didn't even let him start the third dare. Yeah, After like the he, second, was just, he was like, nah, you're dead. You're done. <laughs> Get out of my face, man. And just like that, really, really, um, I won't say like very convincing. Like essentially. T just couldn't hold on to that last stock, right? Because it can get really troublesome when Pac-Man holds on to that rage. You never know. Those those smash attacks coming out from Pac-Man are extremely strong. Yep. Linger for a very, very long time. Where is a T taking him here, though? Oh, Kalos. A lot okay. of room to work with here as Pac-Man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and even the platform layouts, like most projectile characters are going to fan out to the side. So when you have that platform to retreat to when you're going, like when you're getting cornered, that's going to be almost a safe haven for T. Yeah. I like the walls too for uh, his like item setups as well. Oh no, the Z drop Ooh, setups like so much damage. Spicy punish coming out from T. Double back here coming out from Void here. Arsene's about to pop out, but he probably wants a little bit more damage, but doesn't get it. Now he's gonna have to get the damage and try to get this stock potentially with Arsene. Oh, oh. He, drifts, he drifts the opposite way. That's actually a really good stall to avoid getting back here. There. Yes, and you're stalling out a bunch of Arsene time. Because right now T is is sitting free in terms of like oh 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 my Ooh, wow this Arsene's almost out oh, oh no. my <laughs> no way he had to go to the ledge oh no <laughs> oh no boy didn't know what was happening there yeah, you, oh man I think he thought the uh, the trampoline was yeah, gone one more charge or or either had another charge or was just gone wow. wow what a clever trap coming out from T and that is your life and we're just talking about trying to get value out of Arsene man he's just trying oh. out here trying to survive. Oh my god. T's resets are looking so good. 
Oh, yeah. And, I mean, look at this. Already the Arsene is out. He's only at 83%. Boy's going to have to get a very, very solid hit. Oh, he called up the jump. Uh-oh. This guy is going to town right now. Okay. okay. Okay, he went crazy. He went too, too ham. Too ham. Too ham. He went a little bit too sick of mode there. But at least you get to stall out this Arsene here. Okay, no. When you do wait on that Angel platform, you pretty much... If you wait out the whole time, you spawn in with, like, pretty much no intangibility. But, I mean, T was planning on, like... Oh! oh there. Wow, he's alive, Where though. are you rolling? Okay, T with the ledge trap oh, he here. Oh, the jump. Yeah. He get the sweet spot, though. Can he get under him here? No. Ooh, oh, the losing <laughs> the that was so cool. Boost. Man, T is so clever when it comes to this character. Uh -oh. Even that, he had to respect the bell. That's why we yeah. saw Void stay in shield. He did not want to get stunned up there. The uh, Arsene number two is going to come out. Can Void get some damage, get some footing before this Arsene comes out to play? He's going to need it. T, I love the platform the layout, helping him out the charge fruit there. Okay, so getting safe. some dot damage. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, well, we shooting the him guns. up, though. He's like, you cannot be here. Okay, and oh, Arsene here's Arsene. is out. Here's Arsene's here to play. That means you're about to die, like, at 70%. Oh, oh, the oh. texture card not working out. That was a really good idea, though. Oh! Wow, <laughs> no way. What a call out on the normal getup. Yeah. And a rare sighting of Arsene counter not working. Yeah, he actually got past it just barely, but only, only to get F smashed for his troubles. Damn, T had such a big lead. What happened? <laughs> Arsene happened, man. <laughs> oh, he got the apple. He got the apple, too. Oh, Leave you're crazy. Void, 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 chill. Void wanted maximum value. On okay, Void. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> no one's living that at one Damn, man. Void trying to kill him at 30%, man. Chill. But man, what a comeback, honestly. T had such a strong footing and such a strong lead, but Void got so much value off that Arsene. And really, now T bringing this back to even, though. Yeah, he's doing a really good job of coming back here. What's the what's the apple setup or the the fruit setup here? Oh, it's so good at hitting like that nair after crossing the shield with fair. Oh, Galaga setups, watch out! But he backed up because he knew Arsene was coming. Very nice, paying attention to that meter. Oh, but the water it is making this uh, corner pressure Whoa, so what so to different. The, the hydra just disappeared. Hydra weird. dip, bro. <laughs> These boys like get out of here! Get this hydra <laughs> out of my face! But the Arsene timer is almost out. Uh, Void not going to ham. That hydra honestly bought T a lot of time. And now the Arsene is out. Uh oh. Oh, he's got the bell. What's he gonna do with it though? T is playing very carefully here. Oh, nice. He's so good at calling out these jumps. You wanna kinda, if you're not gonna hit the hydrant, you just gotta tend to jump over it. But uh, T's calling that out really well. Yeah, now Void at kill percent oh. here. The bell. Okay, gets the forward tilt. What's the setup here? Oh, oh another, another one! How many oh, F's? Oh my god! How many F smashes is Void gonna get on T? <laughs> He's Bruh, killing him without Arsene at like 80%. What is going on? Oh my god, neutral get up is not your friend, T. It's not your friend. I thought I thought Joker needed his friend to kill. I thought wasn't that 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 I guy thought, I thought Big Brother is supposed to, you know, be the one that kills here, thought, but you know, Joker saying I don't need you, man. I guess Big Brother isn't always watching, man. Arsene Damn. not needed for that kill. Good stuff to void, man. Wow. That and that whole game it it really felt like T was under control. Yeah. Like, Void did get the lead on the second stock, but then, like, T evened it right back up, got the lead on that last stock, and it was looking so good for him. Yeah. And then my man's got F smashed again. Normal get up on the same side. Strides on the same side. Yeah, I can't believe he got that twice. I think all three of his stocks were F smashed. Right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nah. I know at least two of them were. Yeah. Maybe three. Probably an Arsene Bear somewhere in there, yeah, yeah. somewhere in the schmix. But man, Void up 2-0 here against T. That's, this is really big. I don't know if this is round one or two of the winner side of top 48, but man, what a way to start things off. Yeah, really looking good for the Void Joker right here. The work has definitely been paying off going up against T. Best Pac-Man to do it, and he's just such a strong player overall. Even on his counter pick, like that was such a strong stage for Pac-Man. Yeah, gonna switch it up to FD here. Now FD, Definitely one of those double-edged sword counter picks. Um, if you get, if you can ledge trap and juggle really hard, this stage is phenomenal. But on the on the flip side, that can also happen to you. It's access to both players here. Okay, but Void right now only has half our cent and T only at 27%. Yeah. I can't imagine Void squeezing out the stock on this one. He's gonna need some insane arson like shenanigans. He's about to run out. Forward smash? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> bro. I've actually, in my heart, I've, I was like, all right, this F smash is coming, bro. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to get this Arsene F smash. It would have killed. killed. It would have killed. killed. But dude. you know T was already like, as like, long as I don't I, get F smash, I'm good. As long as I don't get F smash at the ledge, I'm fine. Oh, here's the bell set up. Oh, 
Nice, mm. cover the roll. Look at the ledge trap and the setups, like you said, that bell oh. and the apple taking apple void time. right off the top here. Only 68% on T's first thought. What is he going to do with this Galaga, though? I'm scared. Yeah. I feel like some insane, like, Z-drop shenanigans are happening. <laughs> yeah, and the Galaga combos are always, like, the go-to, right, for Pac-Man, low yeah. percent, even in Smash 4. Uh, Pac-Man had a bunch of crazy Galaga combos. Wow, T's yeah, just kind of walking T knows right all up. of them. Oh, yeah, for sure. T had some crazy setups in Smash 4, and it definitely all carried over to this game, so. For real. Okay, and right now, as you can see, like, the neutral is so based off of Hydrant, right? Uh, Pac-Man, definitely a character. Going to set up the Hydrant. Going to, like, how are you going to go? Are you going to hit the Hydrant? And sometimes it's not the greatest thing to be the one to hit the Hydrant first. I believe it has, like, 13 or 14 health. Yeah. So, uh, so sometimes yeah. you hit the Hydrant first, and the Pac-Man is like, sick, thank you for yeah, weakening for me. Yeah, and then he just hits it, like, out of, at you with, like, a back air or something like that. At least you can shield the water. In Smash 4, you actually just couldn't shield the water. Yeah, that was so bad. It was very irritating. You had to, like, it would force you to jump pretty much. But and man, T man, he wow. set up the apple combos. Oh my god, Boys is trying to get in, but he's just juggling them with the fruit, man. Yeah, and right now, Arsene, the next Arsene is about to run out on T. So has all three of his stocks. This is absolutely insane. This final destination oh, pick bell. is working out wonders for uh, for T. He almost got the app, the orange snipe as well. Ooh, another jump called out. He's going to get this fruit snipe? Where's Void going to go? He can't get past the Hydra. Do you have the double jump, Oh, sir? my goodness. Oh, man. Nowhere to go. That was a perfect edge guard from T. Is T going to three-stock Void? Like, what a way to bring it back in a game number three, I right? Mean, that's one way to get momentum back in your favor, literally oh, yeah. three-stocking your opponent. But uh, that back air had other ideas. All right. Well, uh, Arsene making a comeback. It's going to be rough. He's going to have to take out two stocks. May, he might get two Arsens if Void gets, like, crazy stock mileage. So we'll see if Void can do it here, maybe get some kind of offstage thing going. That, that's what Leo does, man. Leo will get a lot of these uh, offstage gimps without Arsene, right? And that's yeah. how he finds his way, claws his way, in all these crazy comebacks we've seen uh, Leo do in the past. Yeah, but uh, Ezra, like actually giving a character like Pac-Man, like, outside of hitting him out of his up B or whatever, is, like, so hard to do. Oh, yeah. He has so many ways to just stall offstage. And there it is, and here's the Arsene. Can you get the stock right now? T is doing such a good job of not only stalling out the Arsene, but winning neutral while Arsene is out. As you get hit, or as you hit Arsene, oh. you drain that meter, and look at that, this Arsene is almost done. Oh my goodness, he had to use the invincibility of the upbeat to avoid the apple, or the strawberry. Oh my, this guy's offstage presence is immaculate right now. How does Void get back to the ledge? Jesus. He doesn't. Is he gone? Yeah, oh my right. goodness. No wow. double jump, man. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat, man. Especially with that hydrant spurring all that water and using it for the edge guards. Really just where did Void have to go? It Nowhere. was just the edge guarding was so on point from T. And man, what a statement coming in on this game number three. Yeah, no 3-0 here, man. T is an incredible player. I would, like, even though Void's playing amazing right now, I would be Completely shocked he's able to 3 OT. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't imagine Void switching. Um, I know he particularly doesn't like Pichu versus Pac Man, so. Yeah, that does not sound fun. Like, yeah. you can't even really, like. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. It's just bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. It's not cool. Because, <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, just Pichu is a character that wants to edge guard, and uh, yeah, Pac Man is pretty hard to edge guard. Yeah. He has a very, very good recovery. But right here on Pokemon Stadium 2, Void was able to win uh, game number one on this stage. So um, no DSR here. And uh, yeah, T not opting to ban this stage. Void going to bring it right back here. Oh, no. Man, he Watch out. Soul. <laughs> Watch out. That dare set up into the gallery would have been super hot. No. Oh, man. <laughs> he upbeat the wrong way. I thought that might have been it. But able Ooh. to come back. And Yo, it's he. Using the water just pushing him closer to the ledge. That was so smart. Oh, here's the Galaga. Not able to get, oh, never mind. It's still active. <laughs> I was like, oh, he missed. It's fine. Man, three of them still don't. Bruh. Joe. Void. Void <laughs> needs to find out the best way to get rid of this hydrant, like, really quickly because he's just throwing everything at it. Oh, what is this? Is this guy really, like, he, I'm yeah. stalling out Arsene all day. Yeah, he has to. I mean, you, who wants to fight oh, this? He's right. He's out Who here. wants to fight he's this character? <laughs> he's out here. Oh, no. No, <laughs> he didn't grab the ledge. All this stalling just to get hit by non arson F smash, man. What was the point? What was the point? <laughs> what a twist. Oh, my God. Dude, I, I, I think the T's demon of the set is non arson F smash. <laughs> For real. Wow, that that was phenomenal stalling, but one little slip up, man, and Void was able to capitalize oh, cool. Thanks, all man. over that.
Thanks for the free up smash, but there's the up smash. Oh, well, finally the bell connecting here, and the bell connecting low to the ground is very, very key because Pac-Man will be able to get a smash attack follow up. When you get connected too high in the air, it kind of doesn't really matter that yeah. much because Pac-Man's aerials usually don't kill. I mean, if it's absurdly high percent, then yes. Yeah. Here's the down guns being very pesky. Oh, and there's the Rebel Guard here. So we're going to see uh, Arsene make an early debut here on the second stock. Yeah, it's going to be coming very soon. Boy playing around the hydrant really well right now. <laughs> the water just makes it, makes like the interactions with the water and the fruit just can be so, so tricky. And yeah. You know T knows all about yeah, that. For real. Ooh, Void catching the Galaga. Yeah, oh. very good uh, item awareness from Void. Not getting caught slipping at all. Oh. He's getting started here, though. There's the hydrant setup as well. Okay, boy, taking oh, his time. There's the, the back air. No hydrant. Oh, he's out of here. Oh, I don't know about that, but he avoids death. No up smash off the fair one. Uh, maybe he could have gotten it, but definitely tried to go for the uh, the setup, the the up air drag down setup, of course. But Arsene about to make his way out. There it is. Now T not in the best spot, but a lot more comfortable now that Arsene's gone. Oh, he almost got oh, the hydrant. No. Speaking he of Arsene being half gone. A, he got half a meter from one uh, counter on the Hydrant. Man, this matchup is looking ouch. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not the easiest. Yeah, but T still trying to hold on to dear life here, man. 120%. Void, that Arsene meter looking very, very close. T's got to be very careful. Oh, it's watch done. out. Yep. Oh, my goodness. His ledge traps are very scary right here. Oh, he calls out the roll. That was actually really good awareness. Where can Void go, though? As long as Void didn't get stunned there. So, I mean, he, he got he got punished for rolling, but now the bell's out of the equation, and T has to really respect him. Almost any hit from Arsene will do it in here for uh, this second stock for T. Going to stall here. Can Void get the punish? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I love it. I love it, dude. But yeah. it didn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, my God. So Damn. T, T is so Seems like stalling so intelligently <laughs> to waste Arsene, and Void just like, I don't care. And the Trump bear. <laughs> the Trump Arsene bear, you know? Yeah. Maybe even the non-Arsene bear would have done it because he's just so close to the edge, right? Ooh, picking up the apple as well. Void knowing he's got a thing or two with item play as well, and this is looking very, very grim for T. Going to combo. Oh, this back throw uh, might do it. No. Ooh, man, you need so like close. 20 more percent. Oh, oh the my, no guard. way. And Big Bro's out to play. Hello. Here comes, right, team, team needs this edge guard. Oh, he forced the air dodge. Oh, oh there. Okay, okay, got it, got okay. it. I think he probably wouldn't have made it back, but you never know. Yeah. You never know with some of these magnets. That was the third arson that stock. That's scary. Okay, so T bringing it back. Now, you can get the Gimp before Arsene, or even, like, you can, like, set up a Joker off stage, and if he, the Arsene pops while he's off stage, it actually sometimes becomes easier to edge guard him. Yes. Uh-oh, big Galaga combo. As I say it, oh, man, okay, Void does safely get back on stage, but, okay, this is, uh, can you survive oh, the onslaught? The oh, that was such a good tech. Tech in was his life there. Okay, Void, playing patient. He's got about half a meter left. Ooh, side B, and this Hydrant is doing work, but... You know, Void is also respecting the fact that oh, this Bell is out here. Oh. He does an up smash. Oh, no. That <laughs> might cost T the, the set right now. Okay, but no Arsene. All right, he's going to stall as long as he can, avoiding all the guns. Wow, the, the guns, like, straight up just shoot past. Oh, oh the back air? He rolled in, but he's very living. Can he survive? Go high here. Side piece high. Oh, oh. the dare. Oh, wait, what is he going to do? He has... The belt. Oh, he caught the jump. Oh! Wow. And T with the mid set pop off, bringing it to game five, clutching it out. Wow. Oh, my God. Catching Void jumping there, and that bell, very, very clutch. It was so low to the ground, right? He was oh still able God. to connect the up smash, and T is popping off. That was so close. Whew. And it was looking so grim, especially that whole second stock, yeah. like how it was panning right. out. It looked. So, so bad for him. I thought it was over, not going to lie, but T. Damn, T looked like he just got Arsene Baird in real life, bro. <laughs> Damn. T Damn, is, man. T is literally fighting for his life out here. <laughs> man, it is tough. Void still in this, though. Game number five. T making this reverse 3-0, looking like a possibility. Looks like, I mean, I wonder if we're going to go back to Pokemon Stadium 2. The answer is yes. I, I agree. You know, the, the whole start of the game, it was really, really well for Void. Yes. This is a great stage. Um, I, I don't care if uh, T doesn't, like, ban this stage. He, like, literally brought it all the way back. Yeah, yeah. Such a spectacular game number four. And what more could you ask for 
for a game number five against both these competitors. Such a great set to watch. Yeah, I love it, man. Tease Pac-Man never disappoints, dude. Oh, no. it's it's it, A lot of people oh. might be like, oh, man, it's Pac-Man. But it like you said, man, it, it never disappoints. It's so fun to watch. And Void with the newfound Joker, man. All right, there's a near out of shield. Void's trying to apply some pressure here, but T is making it so hard to get in on this guy right now. The forest smash is getting rid of the hydrant, but oh, there's an up smash. He yep. caught the jump again with the bell, and only taking 38 percent. That's huge for T. This is like the biggest lead he's had so far in the set, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Not for once, T in the driver's seat, like completely um, off this first stock, and now oh. getting very aggressive up throw. Oh up my there. goodness, wow. these combos! Look Looking at, like Mario out here. What the heck? The, he popped our scent already, man. Wow, this is insane. And T is looking so good in this game, number five. Can oh, we talk yeah. about momentum yes, shit, man? Yes, dude. Him bringing that game back all the way is like, gave him all the momentum he needs. He's going so aggressive with this Pac-Man. Putting Void in the worst. No <laughs> way! <laughs> no way! Arsene! Arsene up there doesn't care about your hydrant. Doesn't care about anything you're trying to do. He went right through yes. the hydrant the, the very first, last hit. The first two hits go through the hydrant, and the last one gets the kill. Damn, man. Talk about the kicks coming through. But Void is still in a deficit here. T at very, very low percents. We'll see how Void tries to close this gap. Oh, yeah. It's going to be rough for Void to bring this one back. So I don't care to like Pac-Man. T yeah. setting up the tent and everything. Oh, man. Avoiding that bell. Oh. And the bell has been the death of Void, man. It's been his bane and doom. Uh, how many stocks have we seen T just clutch out with the bell, right? Yeah. He's, uh, he's been trying to get these jump ins to start his offense, but T's like been catching those jumps with the bell and turning it into stocks. Yep, and the bell still in hand. So much to respect Oh, here. there it is again, but now able to get the stock. I wonder if the up smash oh. wasn't in range. Oh, no, he what? fast failed. He fast failed to avoid the fruit off stage, and it was just, just enough for him yeah. to miss the ledge. Just out of oh range. Oh, my God, 0 so to 47. Oh, T is going in right now. He Are might he be dead? dead. Jesus, man. Dare? Oh, oh, he barely, he misses. barely misses. Can oh! Okay, oh, great tech. No down air, going for yeah. the back air stage spike there. Gets some damage nonetheless, but this is looking so hard for Void because the Arsen meter is about to run out, and there's still two stocks to take. Yeah, this is going to be a super hard comeback to make right now, especially the way that T's playing. Defense is on point. Arsen is gone, and Void is so close to dying right here. Only 50%. Caught the jump with the Hydra and the bell. No, the key snipe! Oh! Oh, wow. my God. Caught out the jump. T bringing it all the way back against Void, taking him out, sending him to the loser's bracket game five. That Pac-Man is no joke.